Hey yo, what is up everybody? It's B Militant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host here on the Redskins Review and you guys today we just got the word that Darius Geis has a knee injury and is reportedly going to be out a few weeks. Now my question is to you guys. Did Jay Gruden just sabotage the Redskins season by benching Adrian Peterson? Who, by the way, um, I understand that Darius Geis, he had 18 yards on 10 carries last night. And I understand that our offensive line isn't all the greatest and we didn't try to commit to the run enough. That's on Jay Gruden. But last year in Philadelphia, Adrian Peterson was playing behind a <clears throat> makeshift offensive line with what was it like 19 different 19 different combinations on the offensive line you know a bad offensive line and Adrian Peterson found a way to run a 90 yard touchdown in Philadelphia burst the Eagles last year the longest run of his career um, so that's my question did Jay Gruden just sabotage the season by not playing Adrian Peterson yesterday and not committing to the run and being up 17 to nothing, being up 20 to three at halftime and not making the right adjustments. <clears throat> that was a winnable game yesterday. I don't care. I don't care what anyone thinks about the Redskins uh, team. I don't care about what you think about our roster. We're up 20 to nothing or 20 to three or 20 to seven. Sorry, I keep getting it messed up. 20 to seven at halftime. That's a winnable game. You know what I mean? That's that's winnable. And I feel like now losing that game, losing that game and then having to go and play uh, the Cowboys, who I'll have to admit looked pretty damn good yesterday. Now we got to play the Cowboys. It's, it's, it's hard to be optimistic right now. We're staring 0-2 in the face. All right? And... All the, all the, we, we heard Mor, uh, Morgan Moses come out and say, hey, it was a slap in the face to have Adrian Peterson sitting on the bench when he's healthy and this or that. Now there's a divide, you know what I mean? There was a whole divide. There's people who are pissed off about sitting Adrian Peterson, you know what I mean? And, and not just that. This is a whole like Mike Shanahan situation where people, people try to blame Mike Shanahan for RG3 getting hurt and, um, you know, handling his situation wrong. Darius Geis just came back from a serious knee injury, and you're giving him the ball as the main back, you know what I mean? Um, and it just doesn't make sense to me. That's why I made the whole video pissed off. And I laid down how you do this. You, you make Adrian Peterson the main back, and then you bring in Darius Geis later in the game and give him carries later in the game when Adrian Peterson... Is, is wearing down you bring in the fresh young legs and you start to give him little carries and little carries and little carries and then when he makes the most of it and he shows that he can start handling the load also because he came off of a, a knee injury then you work him in slowly I mean I'm just a fan I'm no coach but does that not make more sense to you guys out there than what the hell we just did with Jay Gruden and now Darius guys has a knee injury reportedly going to be out a couple weeks so we're going to get Adrian Peterson but to me I feel like we had a chance to win yesterday versus the Eagles and I feel like we had a better chance to win with Adrian Peterson in the game I think we had a better chance to win with Adrian Peterson and Geis both on the same roster on the game or in the game um, and now we're staring 0-2 in the face 